after the person has been Hyperius, then you get Master G. Last two quests, though. Alright, so now we're out of here. We're actually back to the vanilla game. We push this forward. Uh, there's at least one other vanilla achievement I know we want to do today. We need, we need to go and do it in the Highlands. So much fun, not... At least he has mechanics to it, which is okay. It's something. We're getting so close to level 50, too. I wish there was a fast way to just go ahead and pop that. Adam! Are the headhunter packs worth a lot of XP? Surprised we haven't gotten decked out yet. What are we still running that's not... I think everything's got to be purple or better. Decked out. Purple rarity. Ah. Well, can I get that? Just throw some shit together real quick. There, that's pure purple. Uh, just a couple of them were good farms, like the Xmas one. Go to hell! What the hell? The fuck was with that guy? He was a thug, dog. Like, just farms for loot, right? Not really. XP. Okay, let's see if that got us decked out. Yeah, it did. Sweet. I probably should have farmed out a better pepper now, but oh well. You know what, it wouldn't hurt to run this for now, just to try it out, that purple mod. Well, what all is it buffing? Fill to the brim. Lay waste. Eh, sure. Other than that, I'm pretty okay with things. Alright, let's turn in the wildlife preservation. Close. The one thing holding us back is the all quest completed thing, which is all going to be a matter of the level 80. Was he serious early, the bear Adam, about being able to hit level 80 within like an hour if you farm Pyra Peats? Yeah. Successfully secured a way past the first Sorry obstacle. No, now we go to Thousand Cuts. cuts. Yeah. You're going to deliver that note to a bandit leader known as the Slab. Now, he used to be a part of the Crimson Raiders until his methods got too brutal. I didn't think ripping the hair of the officials limb to limb in front of their loved ones was an effective way to get into Then I think Still, we do the raid on Angel. Let's see if we can't push to see Roland's sad, sad end here. It might be possible before we completely off for the night. Be fast. I don't think an hour, but I haven't played the DLC in like two years. How fast did you level to 80, Adam? I may have been the Iridium one, too. I don't know that I'd gotten that one yet. And can you tell me, like, a really good Iridium fight? Kind of fast. Took my time with it. I didn't do the bar or anything. Just played the game. Okay. But probably not, like, three days quick. Because we only have tomorrow's stream. Friday short stream. And, you know. This I need to put in the stash. These need to just go. Glorious finds from the journey. 
but that's all they are. Probably Turkey, Turkey DLC for Iridium. How okay. come? So I don't know that I've gotten the Iridium farm down yet. I mean, Master G, you just kill the worms. And then, like, eventually it creates a bunch of pools of acid. It's just, like, about survival when you run a big circle. Pretty sure that's the way that works, right? I'm just going to sell everything else. Let's just get this out of the way. Yes, most of my merchandise was ripped from the hands of dead and Actually, I'll keep that one Jacob sniper. I hate to get rid of that rapier, but... Probably not going to use that, so... Melee mods are not doing the job for us. But I still need something. How much damage, Chris the Elements? Uh, bonus damage. 15,000 roid damage on that. Whatever. Remember, it's easy to kill and you get a good amount of them every time you kill it. Okay. I mean, outside of the Grandma Torg bullshit. That's not a long headhunter pack, isn't it? Okay, let's get this other real quick achievement. Which would be... Machinima. Look at Machinima go. of the highlands if you're looking for the slab king that's what need to go to this area kind of lost a uh, cool easter egg from the editor packs the halloween one where we shoot all the pumpkins yeah i really like the halloween one i uh, that was the only one i actually ended up buying It's so cool if you could bring the freaking boats into here. Vita had a really unique boss fight during that head on her pack. What's it like and is it worth farming? Yeah, Crawl was a good one. Crawl was a good one. I never bought that one either, but I saw lots of content on it. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. I got one more thing I gotta do. Just to find a boss fight, okay. So only the Christmas one is really worth farming then? The turkeys for Iridium and then the... I mean, that's the one good thing about the Headhunter packs, is adding new raid bosses, more content for people to do. Oh, look what I found in the pirate DLC, Adam. Isn't that nuts? That came out of one of the chests. I don't know that I'm in the right area. I need to actually get all the way up on the base. Yeah. 
from the loot midget farm. That's cool. Just a little DLC. Really? It's got a loot midget farm? Where? I, oh, I gotta get Jimmy Jenkins, too. I gotta get that quest from the wildlife preserve. Getting this quest and farming Jimmy Jenkins would be a good stop for the night. And then tomorrow hitting UVHM. That sucks. I know I'm giving you a thousand questions at him. What was special about the Pimpernel? Because I forget. And a fastball, congrats. It can, yeah, I thought it naturally had boar. Boar is its like special skill, right? It has zero shit on it. I love the sound of money shot, especially when you get it like caught like 15 money shots in a row. What the hell is that noise? Oh, it finally died. Controller lasted me all night. It's pretty impressive considering. Actually, two streams in a row that controller lasted. That's really good. Something's making a really weird sound. Worrying my zero on the 360 and the sound it would make a thing. The 360 was going to blow up. You got yourself in the quotes, Adam. Congratulations. Actually, I'm going to include this. I love the sound of money. That'll be a whole separate quote. You got in the quotes twice there, Adam. I love the sound of money shot. And uh, we'll just let there be no context on that one. Congratulations. <laughs> you quote 193 and quote 194. Vault Hunter! It's the Vault Hunter! I'm honored. I'm starting to see how Borderlands 3 plays out. How you guys can get capstone skills higher. Yeah, it's gonna be sweet. And I love that you get bar, guardian rank, through just leveling up. I love getting Bora Cloud Kill higher. Left <laughs> my ass up. The 360 would literally have died. Gotta go down a lot of skin. A sal, though. Need to farm out a good ruby. 
That's gonna be the next step. We hit level 50, we farm out a good ruby. I can't remember specifically where we need to do this. Battle War makes sense. Uh, it makes the same sound. My old ass PS4 when I played, you just know the devs are pushing the absolute shit out of these consoles. The whole time playing it, you're like, don't blow up. Yeah, you don't even need to get a space eater. You just use your, your box and you're good. But hey, it still works. It fades away. Where is it? I should have got. What does this even mean? Great game, though. Full time I played God of War sounded like Buzz Lightyear was going to take off. Great game, though. Really, the PlayStation 4 actually sounded like it was pushed to the brink? Hmm. Maybe I already had it. Oh no, I got it. I got it. Okay. Last thing then. Only game did it too. Wow. That's crazy. I wonder what's pushing that system so hard with God of War. Now we need to go to Natural Selection Annex, uh, yes, but also the... I'm gonna try to farm Jimmy Jenkins a couple times before we get off here, then I'm done. We made good progress. And we're super close to the original 1000. I kind of forget where the journals are. Let me just see. The name of the mission. Because so I don't know where we get the quest. Whether we get the quest in Sanctuary or whether we actually get it in the Wildlife Preserve. I just know we farm him out in the Wildlife Preserve. Someone a paladin changed his Xbox name to my wife and changed his paladin side of two. She never cook again. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> Doctor's orders. All right, doctor's orders. Tannis, so sanctuary first. Cool. All right, then we just grab the first journal, then we spawn in and out of the annex. And we'll give this a couple tries. Which would mean all we need is three achievements, I think, which is guns are continuously for 90 seconds, hit level 50, and do all the quests, which we're working on Sundays. That's probably going to be a big part of Sunday is cleaning up all those.
Now, what's this Lilith farm from the new DLC? Let's do it. Let's get Jimmy Jenkins. We'll be down to three achievements tomorrow. We'll, we'll get into UVHM. Actually, we'll probably start with DLC, but... I just have to make sure I start earlier tomorrow. Like, we have to start at two or one. Which is doable. To make sure we really bust out a ton tomorrow. Uh, one of the missions, you don't turn into anything like that. You spawn, kill the midget, save quite 20 second farm. Oh, nice. Well, if that's the case, then hitting level 80, then just farming that would be perfect. I am old that is mad. I'd imagine the only things we're really needed from Challenge Accepted now, too, are, like, melee shields. A race to max level. People are going to have the game early. There's just no point for anyone to race to it. I think what I am going to do, though, Adam, is just run through the main campaign of Borderlands 3. Like, enjoy the story and then not do side quests until the second playthrough and do the run to level 50. What do you think? What are you going to do? Actually, when you four, when you challenge accepted, still challenge accepted, at level fifty, complete all the quests. Same thing. Go through main story. Second playthrough. Try one hundred percent the game. Yeah, same. Probably be under level for the second playthrough, but knowing what we know now, it's gonna be our best bet. I think people would know the best farms, etc. So are you going to move pretty quick, or once you're on that second playthrough, are you going to try to sm smell the roses? Did I miss the first journal? Oh. Now, can I open the box? Can I open this box? Because I've heard you can, and I've also seen it doesn't seem like you're supposed to. First place we did a second one. Uh, just try to go hard, get to max level. So I'm gonna do like go hard on first one, and then second one, take it easy, just enjoy it. She'll be doing a 24 hour, four days after launch. What are you gonna do on launch day? Are you gonna stream it at midnight or are you gonna be getting your energy together? I hope by then, yeah, for sure. I'm just gonna not even take the risk. Okay, now as far as I know what I need to go what I need to do is go into the wildlife annex come out of the door save and quit I don't even think I have to save and quit but I will just to be careful probably stream I'm gonna do every borderlands on stream when you first get the game 
Uh, yeah, I will. I will. Uh, I just don't know that I'm going to stream at midnight. I think I'll probably start, like, really early Saturday morning. Probably. You know, I was hoping I was going to hit 2,500 followers, and I was going to do the whole 24-hour stream that night, but... We will save that for later. Alright, so now we save and quit. Let me look this up, as I don't want to fuck it up, but if I can open four boxes instead of three, I'd appreciate the efficiency. I mean, this shouldn't take a long video. There you go. It's morning after kill. The mission, but be careful because these loot midgets can put you down. Actually, drops less for solo players. So the fact that I got all three in one run is amazing. Oh, I don't and think you do open the third box. A lot of different methods for this, but listen to who it is. People will say, do not touch that second box because it is very easy if you hold down the button that you will actually pick up the echo recorder so you can't like open I it said, you don't want to do that but if you are careful you could just tap the button right next to it and you will open that box as long as you don't take the recorder out you will not have any problems spawning these loot midgets but if you take the recorder out it will not spawn any of these loot uh, see jeremiah told me not to open all four boxes because it's weird because i did this and then after I had opened that box, they didn't spawn. At least his video was only four minutes long. Of course, we just board ourselves, so that's cool. Some of them back in the day made vi uh, videos in certain, made, yeah, 20 minute videos. You only need like a four minute video for sure on that. You go to the natural selection annex, you come out, you save and quit, so you have a better load. You don't have to go clear across the whole map. And then you kill him and you open all four boxes, just be careful. Oh, this is gonna- oh, wow, nice. What mod are we running? Sheriff's badge. We need to look up Max Roll on that. Probably try to get something close to that. So if you need a god podcast, listen to Joe Rogan. Went to one with John Carmack today. Is that right? I do like Joe Rogan, but almost everybody does anymore. It's cool that he did one with uh, John Carmack. I'll have to listen to that. That'll be sweet. Alright, so we gotta be careful. Sometimes it doesn't reload and that shit pisses me off. No Jimmy Jenkins for us. Uh, and stick is his time with id. I thought he still worked at id. I thought he still did while well, you would own id, but I thought he still stuff but with rage one and other games that it was interesting to make quake yeah i would definitely listen to that it'll be good 
Next time I get a little bit of free time, that'd be a great listen. Because I've read Masters of Doom, and that was a great read. And learned about their company and what they've been up to and how they were formed and the history of Doom was really interesting. He said he would have released Rage 1 to 2 years early if he could do it again. Interesting. Earlier, huh? They thought they needed less time with it? wonder what his reasoning for that was. Uh, he said take it on when it's, uh, when it's finished, when it's finished back, fired on him with Rage. He said he would have released 1 to 2 earlier if he could do it again. His take on it's finished when it's finished, backfired with him on Rage. And how so? Tried doing too much for rage uh, stuff in the game was dated just how fast they were basically saying they waited to they worked on rage for one to six years i actually got to talk with the guy who did the multiplayer for rage when i was at college for games and how he designed it because you know, it was like a totally separate mode it was all about the nitro racing and the biggest thing he told us was like you need to try to come across as a regular person when you do the interview because a lot of the time they would do the job interviews with people and they would do something weird at the interview like go to a restaurant or like milk with two ice cubes in it they'd be like okay this guy's gonna be weird because you're gonna be locked in a room with these people for you know 60 hours a week and you're gonna spend a ton of time with them so they need you need to like really make sure your social relationships you guys get along otherwise it'll drive you nuts and the development will suck You guys aren't dropping shit, though. A Jimmy? Damn it. Jimmy? Jimmy, is that you, Jimmy? That Jimmy? No, it ain't Jimmy. It ain't Jimmy Tall. That tank Jimmy Tall. Stuck Jimmy will spawn like no other when you get the achievement. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'll push a few more runs. I'd like to get it done, but I'm also not going to sacrifice sleep for it. Because now the goal is to fucking shower and go to bed. Wake up early. Do this again. I should have had a stronger week on that week. I did 13 hours. I have less of a problem doing this right now. Done that. Good old Hunter Lux said missions. I mean, level 80, I should be so overpowered, I should be able to knock those raid bosses out, no problem, right? 
Because I'm not going for bragging rights. I'm just going for the completion. So I need to get Pyro Pete's bar up and going. Next stream. UVHM, go right into Torx, get Pyro Pete's bar unlocked. So at the very least I can farm, so by Sunday I'm ready to rock. This thing is an electrical beast, dude. Uh, but your style shouldn't be sore. The only boss will be a pain at 80 is, uh, or Asidious, even at level 50. Cause I'm just gonna try to look like, I'm just gonna try to shit on these things just to get the achievements. Not at 50, okay. Reload, damn. It keeps not automatically reloading. That keeps screwing me. I haven't seen a nuke in a while. He's a pain in the ass, I believe it. Isn't it like 14 billion health that he has? Hey, it's 99 cent loot boxes back when they were free. Isn't that nice? Three. Three more runs. Three more runs and I'm done. Whether we get them. Occasionally finding skins that we've never actually gotten. All this time later. It wasn't the way it was meant to be played. I'd say it wasn't. I'd say it wasn't. I still haven't experienced the Master Chief Collection. I never embraced the 343 era of Halo games. Maybe I missed out. I tried playing Halo 5, but I couldn't get into it. I'll try again. I'll try again. Maybe it was dumb for me to go right to Legendary. You didn't miss much. 
I got about halfway through that game's campaign. I was just kind of uh, a very niche title now. Really? And it's still Xbox's bread and butter. Always a top collection on Xbox. Yeah, that's really cool. Have you, do you play Fortnite at all? If so, did you did you uh, check out the Pandora patch they did? They actually did a really good job. YouTube videos for it. That's pretty sweet. right body of Jimmy Jenkins. Follow on Twitter been promoting the crap out of it out of the Fortnite event. I mean it's gotta up the pre-orders. And if they really are based on a royalty system, then money. It'd be gunnerang. Uh, why not though? Two more. Yeah, Fortnite event. I mean, again, if they're based on royalties, like they get a kickback for every um, so many units sold or whatever, hell yeah, I'd push it because be back in Borderlands 3. So many different ways to farm this time. I see Tacky got invited to the opening night. That's pretty crazy. That skin. I level up on the next run, too. What is it, the gunner ring like seeks enemies out? It's wasting a hell of a lot of ammo, I'll tell you that much. I will talk to one of the devs anymore. He's on the support team, does the email support. He said that event should be huge. The opening night. I didn't know Taki was that high up now. But apparently so. Never watch Taki stream anymore. I rarely catch him. The last time I caught him a little bit, it was political and I tuned out. He's a hype guy.
of wanting me to sub to his channel. I'm not a huge fan of that stuff. Yeah, it can be shitty. No doubt. When's the last time you were in a stream, Adam? Is he actually joking around or is he trying to push a sub on you? If I do, it's in some stream and I say hi. I never talk to him on a stream or anything like that. I always respect the hustle dude. Just laugh you for me. Alright, man. I gotta buy Justin a sub. I mentioned subbing to him through the Exodus. So it was free and I was worried he was trying to... May have felt pushed. I should just go ahead and buy it for him. Please listen to me. I don't care what you do to me, just let my husband go. All I did was hold X to grab that money. We'll see. See if the dashboard works. We're not gonna get the uh any of the XP, but that's better than losing the fucking farm. Or UVHM, here we come! Just made this farmable. Yes, I agree. Yeah, it's efficient. It, it seems like it was even set up for it. It's a it's a great little loop. It's quick, but you still have to fight your way through, so it's not instantaneous. That door's blocked by a super loader. Now I don't even have doctor's orders on. Holy shit. Still one of four. And I still have the XP. It just didn't save that portion. Ha 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 ha. One more. We got lucky. It's weird because I've had it not spawn all of those things before. Just by opening that fourth box. be slowing down. I'm just not a fan of Mixer anymore. The way the streamers act, not a fan. Always anal and everything. Like, on the rules, or... Did they all change around the time of Ninja? Just how much has that changed uh, Mixer up? I'm just really anal about the rules. You were tempted at one time to switch over to Mixer, is that right? tempted and like nah too blue like the color was too blue This 
is actually not a bad iridium farm either. How did I end up facing that way? Uh, I'm sick of the Mixer Streamers Twitter with elitist shit. Some of those amazing Mixer Streamers that are actually elitist? Damn, did that start around the time of Ninja or has that always been that way? Nova Shield's actually pretty good. Uh, yeah, when you just switch and Bimbo Alinity threw a cat like an idiot. That's a. Uh. Oh, we got him! I was gonna say, I think we wore our luck out by, uh. Having it. Getting lucky enough that the Doctor's Order thing didn't actually save, but. I mean, that was a Twitch thing, though, right? Do you think that's, that's why he left? Was because of the. The Alinity doing the thing? All right, finally we're Yippee Oh, I didn't spawn one. Dude, isn't that weird? Holy shit! Oh, holy shit! Another one. That's two heralds today. That's two heralds today. Wow. It's not a great one, but whatever. Two heralds in this. This is fucking ludicrous. Just like the lab. Uh, Stuck Ninja has a merch deal with Adidas. Again, I don't- it's so weird. He's got so much mainstream backing, but his, like, his rep on the Twitch was falling. His star was on the downhill, and- but it doesn't matter. He just became, like, perhaps, some could argue, bigger than the platform. It's easy to sell. What makes you say that, Adam? Adam. 